Uh, before this raid video starts, I want to let you know, um, I'm editing right now, and it's like 2 a.m. I did this, I recorded all of this on, uh, a tablet, it, like, a really, really, like, a $200 tablet, like, a really terrible tablet. Um, so, I'm sorry for the quality. That won't be the case in future videos, hopefully, as long as I'm not recording on my tablet. This was just special, and I felt like I needed to record it and upload it, even though it was, you know... I didn't record it on a good computer, people would be interested in seeing this, even though the quality might be a little bit bad. Um, I like made the thumbnail and everything, even with like, Windows default Photoshop, it was terrible. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video, um, anyway, I did my best on it, and I'll see you guys at the cannon. Okay, I'm recording, I'm lagging like crazy. I'll tell them secret. As you guys can see, this is a wall. Trev, press the button, please. Mute. And then prepare for a several second lag spike. You press it? Yeah. Okay, I'm just waiting. Oh. I heard TNT. Oh! What happened? Why is there still a wall here? Wait, what? What's the barrel on? Um, it's at 72 through... Whoa, what the heck? My video card's glitching out. We went- Oh my. Oh my. What? Okay, well, as you can see... There used to be a wall here. <laughs> Trev, can you uh, press the button again? If I can get over there. <laughs> okay, can you press the button? Yeah. Th three, two, one. Okay, I don't want to drown to death. You dr you're drowning? I'm going drowning. to. I, I'm like frozen right now. Okay. <gasps> Dude, go. they said lag. They said lag. <laughs> Corey said lag. Everyone in the chat's spamming TTTT for the lag and so did lag. <laughs> Little did they know <laughs> it was us. Okay, so I'm actually commentating over this. It's like really, really late at night, so I have to be kind of quiet. Um, the reason I was recording this on my laptop was because I was on vacation, like actually a road trip. So, uh, as you see, just went through the wall and like completely shredded it. Um, I'm recording with Bandicam, unfortunately, because my laptop, like, for some reason, OBS lags like crazy, and you can see I'm getting a bit better FPS now. Um, basically, we're just going through the walls. Uh, I'm gonna skip ahead to a part that's actually kind of interesting. We're currently just heading through walls. Okay, now as you can see, the sand comp has like grass in it, <laughs> part of it. I actually made this as a 200 um, six wide for another base, and I just like recently found this base, and like I've got to I've got to read this now because it was like so easy. So I disabled like part of the sand comp, and I've just been using um, I'm not sure exactly how much it's inputting, but it was one shotting. It was using less sand, so I just left it like that. <laughs> okay, here's another sand wall shot. Um, this is like. It kind of lags, like, you can hear the power, that was the power, and then it's like several seconds before it actually, like, the game figures out where it is. Triangles are a little bit laggy, this wasn't like a triangle lefty or anything, so it didn't cause a ton of lag, but still, there's like a several second lag spike, and there's, this thing has like a 50 block, 60 block scatter on it, so I can tear through the sand walls really quick. Okay, here we are in the first region. I failed the first time because I accidentally had this <laughs> scatter and the one shot sands turned on. I don't know why, I was just being not smart. Um, the server's lagging because I was like spamming a little bit on the sand walls. Um, and it's, it was more laggy than it should have been. I don't know why it's so laggy. It should have already like region lost. <laughs> the server's taking its time. That's the scatter. That should be going off like almost instantly. As you can see, regen busted, and the TPS is, like, completely destroyed. Okay, this is a second regen bust. I was actually making the hole in the wall a lot bigger than I needed to. I thought I was going to be adjusting the barrel so I could hit, like, almost half their spawners with Lucky. 
but it ended up pulling up the ones I was going to hit anyway after I readjusted the barrel. Um, so it was pretty laggy still. Um, there goes the original boss and the hammer. Really, really slow scatter. Just like lots of lag. Um, the lag is someone reading. Yeah. I made the hole like a decent amount bigger than I really needed to, but still it's region boss. And Claude like never checks his base. I don't know why he didn't server was lagging like crazy. Everyone was checking their walls, including Weedum Boys. He was like the only one who didn't check his walls. I literally raided him while he had like three or four people on. The owner was on himself. So ch check your walls. The server's lagging. I guess I can show how I uh, pre-stack the sand. I just move the barrel down to one. Like instead of doing a regular shot, I just move the barrel down one block. Um, just because I know it's gonna not stack up to barrel height, but it'll stack stack the block below it, and that's where I need to stack. So, you know, it's just kind of obvious. You just line up the barrel like that. You just have the sand on the same guider that you're gonna have the uh, the region bus, whatever, the region bus sand and slab bust, but. Instead of having it on a slab guider, you have it on a block guider. And then you turn off your one shot sand to the scatter. And, uh, yeah, it'll go, it'll pre stack for you. So that's how you pre stack. And then the actual regen bust, I just change up. I flip the timings for the scatter and the hammer. Usually the hammer would go off one tick before, uh, it would usually go off one tick. Not one tick, they'd both go off in the same tick, except the hammer would be on a repeater and the slab bus would be on a computer. I just switch that around and then I use the slab guider, which I'm currently building. I don't know why I just took a shovel out. <laughs> well, oh yeah, because I was mining the one shot sand. Or it wasn't then. But yeah, I changed this, I put the slab guider back here. Right, like that. And then I mine the blocks above it. And I put a trapdoor guider there. And I just leave the hammer on that guy. And then, uh, that's how you regen bust. Okay, and of course I'm recording with Bandicam, so it stops you every like 10 minutes or so. Uh, this is the actual region bust. There we go. It destroys it, restacks, then hybrids the wall down. You can see my video cards like glitching out. Um, and there's the obsidian from the region bust. Okay, we're on one of the final walls. Actually, we busted, uh, see, like I told you, I busted, like, twice as many regions as I needed to because I thought I was going to change the access to the barrel so I could hit more with Lucky TNT. But I didn't. Um, there we go. It's obsidian, so you can see the TNT is just, like, destroying regen. Of course, that part regenerates. This is obsidian, so it's, like, really annoying. I have to shoot twice in a row. It's hard life. Um, we are going to auto sand comp, though. I'm kind of wasting sands doing this, but I don't really care. I'm not refilling my sand comp again, so sand's gonna go to waste anyway. My video card takes a second to update as well, so like, yeah, the other one underneath it, like, just now updated. <laughs> there we go, and this should... Yeah, it's already through, so now I'm just on the last wall. Okay, here we go, we're on their base. I make a huge hole in their base. <laughs> I actually sagged into a room later on, which was like completely unnecessary. No, the card goes crazy. You can see the blocks, like the particles being destroyed. Let's like fly through the wall for it's even updated. I need a new laptop. The laptop is like 1.6 gigahertz processor. <laughs> like dual core. It's absolutely disgusting. To load these dispensers with a single piece of lucky TNT and like turn off a bunch of stuff, it's like kind of annoying.
Here we go. I've adjusted the cannon. I can fire an alt. I should change the timings for it. It actually like falls down. And just, like, it hits the thing. Then yeah. Then of course <laughs> spawners up. There's just like tons of sand sitting there because I forgot to disable the sand comp. Um. It's gonna fire again right off the bat. I don't think I get anything else. Or no, I go back and I change the times. Yeah, I like I take away a lot of delay because it's it fell too much um before it blew up. Okay, here we go. This is the what second IG shot, I believe. Yeah. It just pretty much instantly blows up as soon as it hits us. There's a bit of lag, so oh never mind. Yeah, I didn't take an off enough quite off. I didn't take quite enough delay off. Okay, now it's going off like just a few ticks after the power. I'm pretty sure this blows up. Uh, so I'm gonna hit that one tower. I see the other one wasn't getting. Oh, okay then. Yeah, it made a really convenient. Uh, you see that really convenient staking platform on the other pillar? I was planning on like originally adjusting the barrel to hit that, but that staking platform is even better because I can like punch it sideways and I can get the other pillars. I just like. Straight up fire again. I don't have time for anything. It actually like destroys more of those IGs than this. An even more convenient platform. Like it breaks those IGs and it leaves a single one sitting there. I think. Yeah, that makes sense because I only blew up like three or four IGs. Okay, I changed the timings again. I'm. I really want to get all these IGs, so I added a few ticks so it would fall down, blow up the bottom ones, and it still clip on the top ones. So there would always be a chance of getting those. So you see it blew up both the pillars, so that was like, how many IGs was that? It was a lot of IGs, I think. Yeah, that was a huge IG shot. <laughs> Got 11 IGs out of that. Okay, after I PV those, I'm going to go back and I change the timing again. I take away less delay so I can get the last 3 IGs and then I shoot. Okay, we're shooting again. I took away, like, I only let it have like 2 ticks, so I took away those last 2 ticks. So it blew up almost as soon as it the bottom. And we like, maybe two or three game ticks to sit there. So like less than a redstone tick, I'm sitting at the block. I bolt those. And then I'm pretty sure I see a go. Yeah, I see that seeking platform first. I don't even like worry about the other ones until then. I was just like kind of panicking, just wanted to get as much as possible. Because the owner was online and other mods were online as well. So that was like kind of stressful. I don't know if they would have hit the ones in the back. But I was like smart about it and I actually punched it over so it actually hit all of the IGs. I see some down there. Yeah. There might have been some on the other side. I might have lost some IGs. I don't think I did though. Yeah, I'm not sure. How many IGs did I get out of that? I'm like lagging. I have to like zoom to fly. Okay, how many did I get? Come on. I got like, what, another 11? I think I got like another 11. Only well, there's like another, yeah, I like, can't even fly because my laptop's so laggy. I got another 11 and I got some like random cave spiders. Oh, like I saw those in my PV today, that's why I got them. Okay, well there's still those two pillars and you see there's this like stupidly convenient hole that they left right in the ceiling. So I just see that hole and I'm like, no way, I fly up, I grab the second lucky sea egg. And I just place it down right there because that's like a nice safe spot. Lightning. <laughs> It's like such a convenient hole, it's amazing. I have to wait for very stressful seconds. <laughs> Enough to pull off slash near. Okay, I was like hoping that lightning wouldn't work. And I was like really careful with that because I didn't want to lose the sea egg. Okay, there we go. And I just push it, it drops down. Perfect. How many IGs did I get? I got a lot out of that one. Okay, that was like a super rough transition, but I started recording right after it blew up. I got another 13 IGs out of that. So I think I got like 51 IGs out of this raid total, which is absurd. Yeah, I got 51 IGs out of that. You could see those stacking. I'm pretty sure I nuke their walls after this. Yeah, like turn on the sand and everything and like nuke their back wall. <laughs> yeah, here it comes. <laughs> Shots coming in. I just stacked the sand to make sure that the scatter would work. And I hadn't seen the sand cup already stacked, so it's alright. And there you go. You just see the scatter going down. Like eats away at it. My video card glitches out again. I'm sorry about that. It kind of looks like sketchy, but it's just my video card being bad. I try to go behind the wall. I try to go through the wall behind it. I don't know if I even have all the sand turned on. I think I only have like half the hammer turned on. Yeah, it didn't work. I don't know, I might have ran out of sand. I can't really remember. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the Reading Odyssey video. That was definitely quite interesting. So you see when I looked them up before it updated, they had 127 mil. After it updated, I remember they had like 1 mil or something. 
Oh yeah, I remember this when I was done. I TP Royal and I was gonna troll him. I sponged the entire cannon because I was blowing it up. I told him to press the button. I just TP'd my old ad so you can see. <laughs> I just start lagging like crazy cannon rips. <laughs> what did he say? You can just see it like my video card updating. I was gonna say lol, and then I was like, what did you do? He was supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Well, Odyssey took an L. I think they were F top four. I can't remember. I'd have to go look back at that, um, the previous footage when I looked them up. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys later soon in another video.